Start recording. Start streaming. That way we'll have it even if no one watches. Okay. All right. Uh, testing, testing, one, two, three. Um, I should go to Twitch actually. That's what I'm doing. But you're gonna get. You're gonna monitor the stream. Sounds good. Twitch. Oh, I said Twatch. Good old Twatch. I love Twatch. Oh, we all want to... Okay, I forgot there's also a Twitch Studio thing, but we're going to use OBS. Okay, yeah. Twitch.tv slash Blue Scarab Guy. Yep. But actually, wait, you need to be, uh, I need to do it on mine because then I'll be signed in and I'll have my dashboard. Do it on mine because then I'll be signed in and I'll have my dashboard. Well, we sound good. Let me, um, let me go to my Twitch app. Mobile live dashboard. Okay, cool. We have no viewers. We do have four followers and 22 that's that's just my overall thing we've been streaming for okay all right we have the stream manager up over there all of you are looking at my horrible horrible test top hello i'm stuart i'm katie yes and we're going to stream doki doki literature club because uh, we thought it would be fun. And we're both actors, so we'll read a bunch of this dialogue. I'll be performing all the male characters. So, so you're going to be playing yourself. Yeah. I, one character. I will be playing the main character, and I will be providing all the narration. And then uh, internal monologue, that is. And then Katie here Hi. will be providing her lovely voice to all our lovely ladies in this game. Um, and we will just have to see how it goes. All right. Gotta remember, he's the voice actor. Hey. Your voice is beautiful, honey. Yeah, but you're gonna be better at um, holding a voice. We'll see what happens. Alright. Um, Alright, I'm hitting play. Um, what's, uh, once we get in, let's... Uh, also, um, worth noting to anyone watching or watching in the future, this is the original version of Doki Doki. This is not Plus. We don't have, we have Plus on the Switch, we just picked it up, but the Switch, I don't have a good capture card, and the Switch doesn't have a built-in streaming app. So we're doing the original free version on my computer. Also, both of us have played this, yes? Yeah. Okay, both of us have played and beaten this game. So we know what's going to happen, but it'll be a fun experience nonetheless, especially since we'll have to see what we're going to go for. Um, we want to make sure we're going to have the volume low on our computer. That's fine, I think. It's not like there's voice acting to listen to. It's just music, so. Okay. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit that website. So... Worth noting uh, that, uh, yeah, just worth noting that. Anyone who thinks that they're going to get triggered by stuff like that, please, uh, 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 please. I've been at least 13 for over a decade now. We'll be good. Yeah, but yeah. Anyone watching, please uh, be careful. Okay. Team Saliva. Honestly, the music is so bomb. Yeah. All right. Let's go to our settings. Let's uh, full screen this, please. Thank you. Uh, honey, can you pull up the stream on your phone now that we're in to make sure it's displaying correctly? Yeah. Did I pause it somehow? I think you can pause streams, yeah. It's just that you'll be behind. Yeah. Unmute it. Okay, hello, hello. I would turn the music, okay, hello, hello. the game music up a little bit, though. Turn, uh, okay, turn the, the game, game music. The game music is super good. So, and you can't... May, oh, you know what it might, I... Here, let me go back into OBS real quick. And... 
and uh, just turn up the in the desktop audio a little bit. Yeah, because right. just say so you can't hear it in the. Yeah, and we're pretty nice pretty and great. loud. So, okay, does this sound good? Okay, this sound good? Yeah. Okay, this sound good? You don't think it's too quiet? Okay, this sound good. I mean, I, c I can't hear the music, but I don't know. Well, uh, okay, it's there. My phone's also just not that loud. Okay, I'm just going to turn up the desktop audio pretty <laughs> heavily. Yeah, no, see, like, desktop audio, even at max, is all the way down here. Yeah. So I think we're going to be good. Okay, cool. Well, doesn't, yeah. Yeah, so the streamers should now, the, uh, the viewers, whoever they may be, should be able to hear it now. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, text, okay, I think that's all the, fine. Yeah. Okay. New game. Okay, so what are we calling him today? Random letter. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with. L. L. First thing that came to mind is lemur. That's not how you spell lemur. Are we going with the misspelled yes. lemur? Okay. That's a name, it's not the animal. Good old lemur. LeMay. Lime. It'd be LeMay. <laughs> sure. I don't care. Lime. I'm gonna go with LeMay. Make him French? Yeah, exactly. Now, I'm not gonna voice him as French, but he is of French descent. Hey! That was really awful. I'm sorry. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. slept again but I caught you this time maybe but only because I decided to stop and wait for you eh? you you're saying that you like uh, like you were thinking about ignoring me that's mean le mer le may le may sure the r is silent sure you've done this to yourself honey you're the one who didn't have a name picked well, no, you asked me to pick a random letter. You could have picked a name beforehand. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine. Fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you didn't ha uh, don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we <laughs> as we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, LeMay, ha have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me you wanted to join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. LeMay is kind of a dick. Yeah, I was gonna say. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Mood. So I'm picking mood lighting pink, I feel is yeah, accurate. Yeah, it's, it's fitting. Yeah, make it the same color as the speech bubble. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I was worried that you wouldn't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. You're ha 
happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Um, do you know what a neat is, honey? Isn't it the basically like Japanese form of incel where they kind of like lock themselves up in the house and are like, all right, all right I mean, that's like, not what an shit. incel is, but but they're no, like, all right, yeah, we'll never find a have, woman. You may have also heard uh, hikikomori. It's is the is the other term where it's like it's people. Yeah, it's They've people like, who I've just given like up on they live women. off their parents' money. Uh, no, it it doesn't yeah. actually. It's not. A, it is not a an incel thing. Honestly. See, I heard that they they were like, I've given up on women. I've given up on everything. I'm just going to stay home and play video games. I mean, yes, but I don't think it's specifically an incel thing. I think it's just like I've given up on the world. So I'm I just thought it was just because there it's wasn't just enough extreme. eligible women. May I didn't I don't know I don't know if it's specifically. Or am I thinking more of China, where there's just not enough. There's not enough eligible women who don't have their own personalities. Well, no, I meant because you know, they're like the one child rule for so long that there's the male population is three four times the size of the female population. Mm. Uh, It doesn't matter. Okay. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. (laughs) I'm kidding, I'm kidding, honey. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worried so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Rude. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Mood. Clubs. She's just sitting here thinking about the sandwiches. Mm. (laughs) Subway. (laughs) Not real tuna. Mm, Quiz (laughs) nose. Why are we turning into Homer Simpson over here? Mm, Sandwiches. I don't know, I've never watched The Simpsons. Sorry wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Womp womp. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well... I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... No, what? Well, that you could come to my club? Sayori... Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Ah, meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she had thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please? Why do you care so much anyway? I kind of told the club yesterday I would be bringing in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything? (laughs) Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayuru is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned this all out. I let out a long sigh. Ugh. God, women disgust me. Fucking women, right? 
Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? <laughs> Yay! Let's go! Also, to be clear, dear viewers, we are kidding about the misogyny. It's a joke. I, I feel like they could tell. Yeah, but you never know with some of these streamers. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Honestly, I'd do it. Yeah. I dejectedly follow Sayori across... I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I readily... Why is this long... Why is this line tongue-tying me so much? I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third grade or classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Lemay, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Oh, so, so the audience can hear that. The ellipsis is pronounced, hmm. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like you should just make confused Scooby-Doo no Scooby noises. Uh, just make Tim Allen grunts. Yeah. Uh, all words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki... The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Uh, d don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably, comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, LeMay. Monica smiles sweetly and looks into our souls. <laughs> we do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Has little cat ears in her hair. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, those are her hair vents. She'll suffocate if she doesn't have them open. <laughs> You've seen that picture, yeah. right? I love that picture. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Ooh. Come sit down, LeMay. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? It's a good thing we have the visual aid. <laughs> the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Like her air vents. <laughs> they, she has air vents too, you're right. The whiskers are drawn with... No, she's just got the, the thing from the commercial we watched last night. Where the, the buff it up hair thing. <laughs> I forget what that was called. The bump it. Yeah, the bump it. 
The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Mitsuki. Eh, well, you know. She's got that thing. It's happening. Just hurry and take one. Sari grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sari talks with her mouth full. As a, see, if they had given you that line, you're, they didn't give you the proper line reading until after the line. They didn't it's, give you your instructions. It's delicious! She talks with her mouth full and all, has already managed to get icing on her face. Oh, God, your hand smells. I'm sorry. <laughs> I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Who angles a cupcake to take a bite? Who's like, I must find the perfect spot to bite? No, it's like, do you bite it from the side or do you bite it from the top? You pull the paper down and you bite. You don't well, no, bite, You don't leave the paper on and bite from the top no, and then eat no, the no, paper. What? No, you take the paper off completely no. and then you go. No, no, you only take the piece of the paper off for the bite you need. Really? You say, so uh -huh. and then you can pull more. That way you don't get crumbs everywhere. I'll have to try that next time I have a cupcake. Because no, I always just I take the, I always just assume the paper was for sanitary reasons when people are picking them out, and then when you pick it up, you take the paper off, and then you either bite it from the top or bite it from the side. I usually go from the top, so that I don't get icing all over my nose. That's why you go, you pull from the side, you go um. I also just generally um, don't care for and cupcakes and because they are kind of a mess in general. Well, maybe it's because the way you eat them. Maybe it is. I don't know. That's like, why. that's why usually I'm just, like, I just shove a cupcake in my mouth. It's like... <sighs> Water. Okay. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Excuse me. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Mm, this is really good. Oh, see, you get the line read. Well, no, they didn't they gave... tell me to write it, read it that way, but I assumed. Yeah, but they gave you one. They didn't give me. Unless maybe I'm being polite and I'm like, oh, no, 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 swallow. This is really good. I don't, I don't feel like he would be. I feel like he's no, a little different dick. No, no, we have established that LeMay is a dick. Thank you, Natsuki. The I'm the only person who will pronounce your name correctly. Fight me. <laughs> Why are you thinking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe. But not for... You, you, you know, you. Dummy. Get out of here, Asuka. <laughs> alright, alright. She has a nose. Oh no, it's it's uh, what oh, hideous anime character has a nose. She should be Krillin all the time. That's actually a thing in DBZ, like, canonically, Goku's best friend Krillin has no nose. And that's how he wins the fight against Bacteria and the horrible smelly guy, is Goku's like, Hey, don't worry about it, man, you don't have a nose! And Krillin's like, oh yeah, I can't smell him. <laughs> so he's, he's Voldemort. No, he just has... No, it's just flat there. There's no holes or anything. He just has no nose. I mean, we we have a friend who doesn't have a sense of smell. Yeah. 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 No, no, Krillin doesn't have a nose. Like, always, never has a sense of smell. Not like, oh, she has COVID. No, like, she never has a sense of smell. Yeah. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri, Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You teep a whole tea set in this classroom? Oh, I burp from eating the cupcake. <laughs> uh, don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. This man has never read a book in his life. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. She doesn't look insulted, she looks embarrassed. I meant that, you know... I believe you. Alright, I wanna, well, I wanna make a comment. Tea and reading might not be a pastime for... T 
Tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. Before we switch, I want to make a comment. What? I know it's drawings, but there is no way that fabric works like that. Oh, that it wraps around her boobs that way? Yeah. No. Like, the these, these jackets would have to be made with, like, implant cuts to actually do that, and, like, that's not a thing. Yeah. Like, Natsuki and Sayori look correct. These two do not. And Monica's not as bad. Monica is, you, mo, like, you could argue... Monica's boobs are probably actually as big as Yuri's, but are being held down. Yeah. But Whereas Yuri's, Yuri's are like, makes no sense. Like they should be flat underneath. Like you would see the fabric like flatten, uh, be kind of flatter underneath their boobs. It would still protrude, but it would come out flatter. Yeah, it, it wouldn't wrap. Come, yeah, it's not a bra. There is no underboob in a in a sailor girl uniform. Yeah. Sorry. That just that that is. My critique is somebody who makes clothing. Yeah, well, that's going to be every anime ever, though. Yeah, I know. That's just my critique well, is someone who makes clothing. No, I guess there actually are a few uh, few shows where it's like, like even in Slice of Life shows where they draw them normally. I think Azamanga Dayo, the the female characters, don't have, like, their drawing. Their shirts are like bras. That said, that said, now that I think about it, there's also the difference between this is still drawings. Yeah. In animation, you wouldn't do that unless the character had giant gazongas. You wouldn't do that unless you were trying to draw attention to it because you would be saving the animation budget by just drawing it flat. Yeah. Or mostly flat. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow but smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. I'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? I can feel her staring into my soul. As president of the literature club, it is my duty to make... The club is fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Were you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. Also, her arm... Like, I know that it's supposed to be, like, trying to show she's behind her back, but it almost just looks like her arm is, like, slithering like a snake around her back, rather than, like, having a bend. <laughs> yeah. Well, she's also, like, uh, to go with the uh, the tried and true and maybe kind of cliche comment, cliche comment, where are her organs? <laughs> yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah, like, you see her from the sides, like, oh, she is, like, about a foot. Like, she is, like, super thin. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget, publicity, and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. You know why it is? Uh, you know what the reason is that this specific angle of her looks, uh, feels like she's staring into my soul? It's because she looks like a VTuber. VTubers are those things where, like, people create, uh, they now have motion tracking rigs where you can, like, make an animated character of yourself and then, um, and then it'll motion, motion track, track your head and your face mm -hmm. and it will, and the animated character will blink and talk and make the same facial expressions you do so you don't actually have to be on camera. This looks like a VTuber. Like, the, it's just the way she's standing in this angle where she's just very stock standing still is she looks like a VTuber hmm. which is weird because this predates VTubers this game came out a few years ago VTubers are a thing just the last like year or so Monica really is a great leader Yuri also nods in agreement then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet sorry hon it must be hard to start a new club you could put it that way not many people are very interested in putting all the effort into something brand new. 
Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. Is this the writer of the game making a comment on, like, hey, people, like, I had to make the game free because otherwise nobody would play it. <laughs> because it's called Doki Doki Literature Club. I had to make it free and put cute girls in it so that people would play it. No, they're saying that they had to make it into a video game instead of a book because no one would have read it as a book. Yeah, but also the story of this game only works in an interactive medium. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> you have to work hard to convince people uh, excuse that me. you're fun. And oh, that is your line. I'm sorry. <laughs> May's just in here interrupting her like, no, you know, it, you need to make sure you work harder. Be better, Monica. <laughs> you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. Why did you yell that in my ear? Yell it in your ear. I'm confident that we can really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yay! I don't know why she said yay instead of yeah. No, Whatever. it was definitely yeah. Well, do you, you seem to want to say yay a lot because you said she said yes, let's go, not but you said yay, let's go. That's fine. Whatever. We'll do our best. You know it. You know it. The thing is happening. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find this, these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Okay, why doesn't he say anything about Sayori working hard, too? She's the vice president. And Sayori's the only one who doesn't have hair vents. This like is she, true. They're, they're, they're just, just kind of Her hair vents are shut. <laughs> But no, um, no, no, that's the thing is, uh, Sayori, um, Say, um, LeMay said earlier that Sayori only counts as vice president because she was the first person to join the club. Yeah, but she's clearly had to put the work in as well. Oh, obviously, but that, uh, from LeMay's point of view, Sayori's only vice president because she joined the club second. See, and Sayori's shirt is actually doing what a normal shirt would. It will kind of bunch around the boobs, but it will basically remain yeah. flat. Which, is, Although, to be fair, it probably wouldn't be doing that since it's unbuttoned. It wouldn't be doing this if it was unbuttoned. Uh, it was, depends on how tight it is against your, your I chest. I guess. I guess. I don't know. Though I, don't, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Le Maire, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Like for this one. Manga. That was awful. I hated that. <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. And then she disappears forever. Yeah, right now. See, she's gone. <laughs> Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, well, that can change. Now you're, hey, hey, don't read. Now Yuri's like, hey, you have to change your ways. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't finish. She just said, well, could be in anything. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. See, look at it. It's right here. I don't know if my screen is capturing my mouse, so I'm just like, eh. I'm assuming it is. It might be. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger behind her back. <laughs> That's talent. Yep. Oh, can you imagine how awfully broken and distorted her hands would have to be to do that? Like, to actually hold the cup behind her back and then just... Ugh. Yeah, no. Well, oh. my... My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. That level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious that by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with a deep psychological element usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination just to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. 
I read a horror book once. <laughs> that was so pathetic. Oh, I... I desperately grab... Oh, yeah, I, I know books. Books, good. I desperately grab something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. I mean, she might as... She is, basically. Really? I didn't expect that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think... Or it takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Hint, hint, hint. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Nazi's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? That was way more Sayori than it was Natsuki. It's fine. What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind class club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give me that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> Your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Gay. Please, honestly. <laughs> More gay. See, and then she's right behind her. Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. And then she spins her around and kisses her passionately. And give, gives her a gay little massage. <laughs> I'm not cute! She says as her eyes become bees. I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> As her eyes become a, an impossible facial expression. <laughs> Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share some... Say, blah, 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 blah. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your, to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Mm? Uh? I was like, I don't know how I'm supposed to make two people <laughs> just confused make the Just then. make the Tim Allen noise. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. I don't think we ever discuss how often it is. Is it every afternoon? Is that how clubs in Japanese high schools work? Is it usually every, every day after school? Mm. That way everyone is even. Um... Mm. Yeah, let's do it. That was actually probably a yay that time. No, so that no, that was a yeah. It, it was, was a yeah. As yeah. It was yeah. Okay. My brain just reads gonna... the first two letters and skips the rest, which is the reason why I always end up saying the wrong one. Yeah. Plus, now we have a new member. I think that'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Because, as you know, the the saying is, uh, you know. You need five to make it work, or whatever. <laughs> it takes more than two to tango. Yeah. Or something like that. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, five heads together is better than one. Yeah. Let me drink water. Oh, sorry, I didn't know if you didn't realize it was your line or not. <laughs> is that right, Lemay? Lemay? Monica swa swiles, yes. She Monica's swaddles you. <laughs> like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she wants to do. Monica smiles warmly at me once again. 
Hold on, there's still one problem. Huh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... um I lose my train of thought as they all look at me dejectedly. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. I didn't know the word was gonna be dejected. But... Sink. I, I'm sorry, I thought... Sink. Huh. Sink. The May. Sink. <laughs> you, you all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes lights up. And they slowly become taller. Yeah. Yes! I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her hands around me, jumping hands? up and down. Her hand, Just her hands. She has really big hands. The art is inaccurate. <laughs> Her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Here's the screenshot for all of you. Uh, actually, no, maybe you probably don't use this as the screenshot because it's covering Natsuki's mouth. <laughs> Welcome to Hotel California. You may check in, but you may never leave. <laughs> uh, thanks, I guess. Oh, they disappeared. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Okay, I know it's a bow. But my brain is like, there's a Chobit's ears. <laughs> and you can't really see her actual ears. They're right there, but they're kind of hard to see. Yeah. LeMay, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Uh-huh. Anime? Uh-huh. Anime noise? Mm-hmm. It's spreading. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. pretty much. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? No, you're not allowed to. The game won't let you. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, LeMay, since, we are, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sorry and me never walk, Sorry and I never walk home together anymore because you always stay after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Hey, I got right that one. Yeah. <laughs> With that, the two of us depart. I, you should have had it now. Yes. <laughs> With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls: Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? You should have totally have said that, like it was a, um, like it was a lineup of monster trucks. Or alternatively, like it's Super Smash Brothers. Sayori! Natsuki! Yuri! Monica! I still think it would be so much funnier if you did it like in, uh, like the... Let's get ready to rumble! Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Yeah. I'm also a little weirded out by the... The what? The really light white right there, because it's lighter no, than it's, the it's fabric. Just, yeah, it's just so a shadow. So it just looks well, really it's weird. A, it's a highlight. It's her, but it's, her like, way too bright, so it just looks like she has, like, a white part right there. Yeah, she's a, yeah. I'm sorry. Well, I would hope that's not where those are located on her, though, because then she'd have a problem. All right. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. I'm glad you don't have to actually write a poem in this game. No, I would have loved that. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your post the post. He likes your post the most. I'm on Twitter too much. Okay, okay so I think first that let's uh, save the video game. Okay, return.
too. I think that we're gonna go for Sayori. Uh, yeah. Because me and you have both picked Yuri in our previous playthroughs. Yeah, and who cares about Natsuki? <laughs> I like how they don't have their air vents now. Yeah. They They're suffocating. Yeah. <laughs> but these two have little buttholes on their head. They do. And hers, no, she's got hers. It's just obscured by their bow. I also didn't realize she had a bow until we, I saw it here. As the nose they all have a hairpiece. Yeah. Okay. She's got the, uh, like, a Celtic rune in her hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we're going for Sayori, so we should go with... Um, fantasy? Maybe or feather. Fantasy? No! Okay. Uh, effulgent. No. Melody? Uh, I was gonna special. say... Special. Yeah, special! Uh, um... Empty. Empty, yeah. Because we're also describing spoilers for the audience. Sire's depression. Broken. Nibble. Sorry. Nibble. Smile. De determination. Smile. Um. Uh, probably. Fun? I think hurt. Hurt. Papa. Uh, papa. Please, Papa. Romance. Uh, um. Lucky. No, um. Breathe. I think. Yeah. Nope. Uh, climax. have it headphones. Climax! I kind of want to do that one, but I think that's a Yuri word. Pain? Uh, pain. Um... Is this too obvious? I mean, you can try it. Nope, it's a Yuri word. It's too obvious. Um... Promise. Promise, yeah. Uh, dance? Why do you scream? Sorry, our cat is going... <laughs> Are you going to scratch your ear? Doki doki. There it is. Um, um heart. Ocean? Heart. Warm. Um, marriage? Passion? I don't know. Oh, well, marriage. Yay! Yeah. Um, um, skirt, melancholy, adventure. Entropy. Um, the entropy. I think, no, strawberry's too cute. Adventure, maybe? Yeah. Yay! Vertigo? That's a really good word, but I think yeah, that's a Yeah, I think that's theory. a Yuri word, yeah. Um, Fester. Fester's fear. a good word. Embrace, I Embrace, think. Embrace, yeah. Unrequited. So this thing, unrequited, I feel like would m would match Sayori's story, but it's too n big of a word. I think it's comfort. Comfort, yeah. Fireflies in graveyard are right oh, next to no. each other. Oh no! Oh no, but look right, what's right under? Grief! Grief! Oh, that's that's tragic. I'm say, but it is grief, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, love. Love. Yay, Sayori. Oh, that was that's a tragic lineup. Yeah. Pray for the fireflies. Grief. Hygen the May. Glad you see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> it's hard to give everyone their own laugh. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. I am your new neckbeard friend. Hey, I'm gonna hang out with these cute girls. Mm. They're gonna become my waifus. Mm, they already are my waifus. <laughs> well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, LeMay. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. No, yeah, it's really cutting into my time going home and wasting my time on video games. Like this one. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Working, I'm still checking that our stream is still gone. I feel like Yuri would be really into Dune. thought you were going to say dudes, and I was like, I, I mean, mean... We know she is. Um, making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join this club this... Sh any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. I don't know why I'm losing her voice. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. It's funny, because, like, we're supposed to make Natsuki cute, but in my head, with what you're going with, I'm like... Valley girl, right? Yeah. <laughs> that that seems she, like she has an attitude. It's hard to be cute and yeah, have an she, attitude. She's sassy. Time. She's yeah. high pitched and sassy. Yeah, 
it's just hard yeah, to be whereas, switching yeah, between yeah, four like, different yeah, voices. Like here, it's like Sayori's high pitched and sweet. She's high pitched and sassy. She's she's sultry and uh, sultry and stuff. And then Monica is very and close Monica's to my, my natural voice. Your sort of speaking voice, yeah. I think. Yeah. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Oh. Uh, mm. 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 M -m -m manga. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying the words Monica and manga. Because honestly, I was going to say <laughs> manga is literature. That's my line. Sorry. But also, I was thinking she was going to say Monica, and you were thinking she was going to say manga, so honestly, it was kind of a perfect... Yeah, we knew. Manga is literature! It is, though. I just bought, um... Uh, that one. <gasps> Swiftly so defeated. Natsuka plot... Natsuka. Natsuka? <laughs> Natsuka! <laughs> if only. That'd be a very different version of this game if Natsuka was here, and she's just, like, stabbing people. <laughs> Bringing in her giant insect pets. Yeah. <laughs> Nausicaa, start a different club if you want to do that. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. LeMay always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without, even me, without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. So worry. No, I'm life. sorry. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I'm not jealous, right? I might oh. be a little jealous. Let me be clear. While I remember like the ending of this game, I haven't played this game since the first time I played it. So, um... I don't know, so me guessing, uh, me being like, oh, I know what they're going to say, is serendipity. It is not me actually, like, knowing that they're going to say. Let's see, is anyone, is, has anyone been watching? We're stopping for a bit to check if anyone's been watching. One viewer, it's you. me. Dang it. Okay, well, we're recording it, too, so we'll have it on the hard drive, and we can upload it to YouTube later. <laughs> How come? You and LeMay can become good friends, too. Um... Sayori... Hmm? Mm. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. What situation? She's just like, hey, you can also be friends. It's be not... friends! Do it! It's not... It's not her fault you're full of hormones. Yeah. Oh! Oh! You even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori. Uh, eh? Me? Um, n not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N n never mind. S Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh. I do. Eh. I'm sorry, Yuri. I, I wasn't thinking. I guess it's that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting Why anything in the first go? place. Why did you go? Hey, don't worry about hey, it. Hey, pizza pasta! Did you bring me a pizza, Yuri? Like, what was that? You're just like, eh, don't worry about it. Forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> It's me, Joe Pesci. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. I brought you this dead cat. If you look closely, you'll notice it's your cat. Do you like this, LeMay? Is this what you like? <laughs> Would this be good for you? <laughs> uh, I I is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal if you won't if you don't want it to be. Uh, all right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. Oh. Also, is it just me or she brings out the 
Bible and the mage just burst into flames. Because <laughs> he's being possessed by two people. Um, also, um, is it just me, or because of the way they've designed this text box, I keep thinking that Yuri's dress has polka dots on it. <laughs> yeah, it's a little polka dotty. <laughs> I didn't want you to feel left out. Why couldn't he just go to the library? Oh, no, she picked out a... I know, but, like, go to the school library, get a book. Do they have school libraries in high schools in Japan? I don't know. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. Actually, is this developer... I don't think this developer is Japanese. Okay. I think they're from the States or something. I'll look it up. It's a short read, so I should. it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. The, this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she'll think I'll like, despite me not even reading much. Congrats, she brought you Star Wars. Yeah, it's just the, the, it's the novelization of Phantom Menace. <laughs> so, no, it's, um, it's, uh, it's, uh, one of the EU books. Okay. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Are you? Well, you can read it at your own pace. He's like one page a day. <laughs> the cat... It, it, it is w wearing a hat. <laughs> okay. The character, the developer's name is Dan Salvato. A guy named Dan, probably not from Japan. No, I guess. Uh, don't know release. American programmer Dan okay. Salvato. Okay. So yeah, it was made by Americans. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some spe schedule the activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sari and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I'm looking respectfully. <laughs> She's looking respectfully. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. She's hey, finding her hey. mind. It's okay. You you can come out of the closet. We love you just as you are. Man. Okay, so I know that's man. But I was definitely thinking to Mon. Manga. <laughs> it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down to the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? Yuri was you... nice enough to give you a whole new book, you Read prick. the book! That's the point! I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. That's stupid. Why would I read a book in a literature club? <laughs> Why fair, would I, I read this book someone gave to me? Well, to Normally, I just like rip pages out and use it as toilet paper. Like, yeah. what do you? What? We're what do you all mean? yeah. We're all engaging in parallel play. We're all just sitting in the same room together reading. Yeah, sounds like a good time, honestly. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and listen, end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. Jasmine, what are you doing over there? She's just existing. Okay, I'm like, is she going to attack the router or something? That'd be that'll, hilarious. That'll destroy the stream. That'd be so funny. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. thing I want to put... You know what's the other thing that makes it weird? Monica is the only one who actually, like, stands facing directly at the camera. Everyone at see, she's at slight... The, every single time you see her, she's slightly angled. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, um, Yuri, when she's doing her embarrassed pose... Her body is facing directly towards the camera, but her head is turned. Yeah. Monica is the only one who stands directly facing the camera. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. Ah, she starts powering up. Her hair turns gold. That doesn't solve the problem. 
problem, though. Yeah? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. Let's just lie to them. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayeri is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh. That's a good point. In that case, do you think a food will do the trick? Feed them. Honestly, yeah. It worked for uh, it worked for us. Worked for LeMay. What kind? Uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! Cupcakes! Oh, I didn't realize you could... So, right-clicking turns off the display. Oh. So you, you could take screenshots, I guess. <laughs> Good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Maybe you should ask her first? Yeah. Natsuki, you're making cupcakes. Oh, no, you made me mispronounce it. <laughs> no, but you're like, oh, you were making cupcakes for 7,000 students. Congrats. What? <laughs> yeah, like, what? Ah, uh, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That'll work out perfectly. I always wonder what the, the, the tilde here is supposed to mean. I, was, I always imagine it means, like, the last syllable or word is supposed to be, like, musically pronounced. Like, that works out perfectly. Or something. That... That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. I don't... No, I'm not touching that one. Uh... Cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. Yeah. We should watch, uh... We should watch, uh, some Haruhi after this. Oh, I thought you were gonna be like, we should watch some anime so you can hear how real anime girls sound. No, no, no. But we should watch some Haruhi after this. I've never actually... I've watched, like, the first few episodes. Have you seen The Melancholy of Haruhi, Suzumiya? It's like this. You'd like it. Anyway, we need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayari is still as her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all. Sorry, this black screen is making me think I should read this dramatically. <laughs> yeah. Sayari can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I think it's trying to say that he's, like, closing his eyes. Yeah, I know he's falling asleep. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Oh, God. I open my eyes to find Sahari's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. She's looking respectfully. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, I honestly would love to see that again, but it, yeah. we can't do that. Um, wait. No, wait, there's a history button. Oh, that's just the script. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Honestly, I joined a napping I club. I was about to make the same joke, though, about you still. I was going to say, yeah, Katie would like to join the napping club. I would, I would join the napping Does club. Does our school have a napping club? <laughs> you're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in the club, you're going to have less time for anime, you know. Now that you're playing this uh, this anime-inspired video game, you're going to have less time for anime. You'll need to get used to it. I think we ran out of them last night. Oh, I'll okay. Go, we'll, you want to DoorDash some Oreos? <laughs> Is DoorDash some groceries? Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. I thought, I thought it was gonna say. I thought it said. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica is overhead, <laughs> just floating. <laughs> Honestly, that'd be kind of terrifying. Uh, it's true though. Yeah, I know. I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayuri. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than when you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Uh, not every day. 
That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... Uh, it's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Uh. Sayori glances around at herself. Uh, how was it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking uh, out all around here. Oh, this is going to be our chance to be like, I'm going to touch your hair. Uh, no, it's his, it's his way of negging her. <laughs> You're not wrong. I run... <laughs> my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. Let the record show I also just touched Katie's hair. 14 ounce, ounces of Oreos. How many Oreos is that? Um, is that a big pack? Is that just the Nabisco symbol on the top? Yeah. Oh, wait, it should say on the picture. Sorry, I want Oreos. Um. Yeah, I need... Mean, yeah. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Where does it say how many Oreos are in here? It doesn't. I'll just look it up what 14 ounces is. Okay. Look, your bow isn't straight either. It's a prick. And there's toothpaste stain on your collar right here. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. Nobody ever would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. What a fucking dick. A 14.3 ounce normally contains about 36 cookies. Okay, Oh, so it's three rows of 12. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, it's a normal, so I'm going to get a couple of those because we go through Oreos ridiculously fast. Okay. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. We noticed that earlier. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? God, he's a fucking prick. And she's clearly like, because I've been waiting for you, asshole. Eh? That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh, oh, new screenshot. Oh, so this is the replay. See, I've seen the Yuri version of this. This is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking about how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Eh? Nani? <laughs> Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, uh I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The, bu the button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? Uh, it did when I bought it. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It, it, mean my, it means my boobs got bigger again. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so... Ah. Why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? Sorry. Why does it... I said that way too quietly. Why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. So we don't even get an image of it. So we it. don't get. So we don't have to draw a second sprite, a regular sprite of Sayori. Beautiful. Oh, so sorry. Few was your previous line. Few. That's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. If I kept it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? 
What kind of logic is that? Why are you saying that like that's a good thing? <laughs> because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't let me do things like this. Then he wouldn't let you do that. Oh, he wouldn't let you do things like this. I'm sorry. Ooh. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Uh? I didn't say... Oh, that's you. I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. We need milk. We, uh, yeah, go ahead and get one. Okay. If we're ordering groceries, then go ahead. Uh-huh. I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So, maybe you should come wake me up in the morning? Oh, boy. You're doing it again, Sayori. Uh, but I was joking this time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, Ariban. Eh? Uh, Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share our poems we wrote now? So that's the thing is, I, I assume... It's weird because generally the poem would be the instigation, is the, like, you doing so, you putting in certain things on the poem is what leads to one of these character-specific interactions, but the poem hasn't been read yet, but we still have an interaction. Yeah. <laughs> That's my impression of Sayori. Yay! <laughs> LeMay, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic. I was like, yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. See, that's the thing is, these are not written to be read aloud. By the way, uh, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration, since I've never really done this before. Uh, well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sari and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sari's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? You can just sign on that one, huh? Mm, okay, I'm lodging it out here. Let's do Sayori, since we're going for a Sayori run, let's do Sayori and then Monica. Why won't it let me pick my apartment? Um, change. It did. Um, I've typed it in. It will not let me type it in with a thing. You can read the poem out loud. Okay. While well, I figure out this. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. She's my good friend, after all. My good friend. Uh, oh my goodness. This is so good, LeMay. Eh? I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. God, that's so Because bad. I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> now, now I'm just doing Te uh, Miss Piggy slash Taya from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. Because I have no idea what I like either. Uh-huh. Okay, good. She's, she's become unpossessed. Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has got to be a little bit more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Uh, well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a LeMay poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Like, I can feel your feelings in it. Sari hugs the sheet against her chest. 
You're so weird, Sayori. Got a negger. Negger. <laughs> you should not say that like that. Neg her. <laughs> Neg her. Okay, Jesus. We'll mute that part of the stream. <laughs> it's fine. Would never say that. I know we would never say that, but... Oof. Uh, I'm really happy that you just wrote one. Just that you won't run. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm sitting in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, LeMay. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. There's nothing that... Um, Go. That, wow. Mm. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. All right. I'm going to hold you to that, then. Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna save the game real quick because, real quick, I want to. Um, um, I I need to check how much uh, space we're, how much data, because we're also recording this. Um, how do I tell, God, I don't know how in, um, um, we've been playing for an hour, um, I might just send you out to go get it, huh, because it will not let me deliver it direct to our place. Yeah. But also, okay. I want something that they do not have available for delivery, even though I know they sell it. Oh, it's not that. It's 801 bytes. We're good. I was worried that it was going to be a huge file. Okay. Well, I think once we read the, pam uh, the, the, the poems for today, we should be done for tonight. Done for tonight? Okay. Okay. Back in. Where's my mouse? Crap. I lost my mouse. So did I. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my bonds in the morning it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleeping from sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Oh, hey, there's my, there's my mouse. Click outside poem area to continue. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this is so much fun. Monica's the best. 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 Uh, yeah. 
But next time I won't forget. Excuse me. I but next time doing. I won't forget, and I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Okay, Monica next. Uh, uh, Natsuki. Natsuki will just go down the row. And then Monica, then Yuri. Oh yeah, we're trying to stay away from Yuri. Good. Uh -huh. uh, be gone, thought. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. I just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not... No, it's yeah, sorry. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? Yes. I'll pass. Oh, I know you will. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Yeah. I told you you weren't going to like it. I like it. You're a liar. That's an awful poem. I can see where she's coming from with the idea of, like, it's really simplistic, but I felt, but, like, I felt the emotion she was going for. I know what end. she was going yeah. for, but it wasn't good. Yeah. What? And this is also part of the thing. My writing style is actually way more like Yuri's. So, like, I've never really been into really simplistic uh, stuff. Yeah. Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because... Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people... So people don't even take my writing seriously. Too many cupcakes, Natsuki. <laughs> but isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! Hmm... I get the point where they're going for, but now I can only think of an old, uh an old, barely political skit where it's like, oh, you know, if I make a song called Racism is Bad and it goes, racism is bad, it makes me really mad, racism is bad, so don't be racism. Okay, the message is good, and then the other guy's like, the message is good, but, you know, I think maybe you're a, your verse structure, racist. <laughs> Ugh, her voice is hard. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided I'd write about it. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I, can, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. I hated rhyming when we had to do poems. I'm assuming you also had like a poetry section in some grade where you had to like warn all the different kinds of poems and write them. Probably, yeah. God, I hate rhyming. So you did. I guess I went more. I guess more went into it than I realized. And syllables. Syllables still confuse me. Oh, I love syllables. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Thing is happening. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did ya? Okay, but they also said all characters in this game are 18 or older. But she's the she, youngest here. So are, is she's she just, a first year where I think everyone else is a second, third, or fourth year. That's basically what it is. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Should I go back to the pink hair? If you want to, honey. Monica. Yeah, there's no green-haired girl in this game. Maybe that's in the plus version. <laughs> there's no girl with the short amount of hair. This little hair, either. Hi, LeMay. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, 
If you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to, of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, you want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Uh-huh. Don't worry, LeMay. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But this is the sort of burial that you will all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you have all sorts of things in common. Uh, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So, I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm... You sure you're not reading into it too much? Uh, I could be. I could be reading your hard drive. I mean, nothing. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has a kind of gentle feel to it. I can tell she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who know? Who knew what someone so happy could enjoy sad things too? Mm. But honestly... I not knowing coming into this game because I chose to come into the game completely blind the first time I read it. Yeah, more or less. And I clearly picked Yuri because that is more my type Same. of human. And I was really interested because I had no idea that sad words would also work for Sayori. Yeah, like your um, while while Yuri's thing is like is darkness. It, it, Yuri's thing is dark stuff, not sad stuff. It's dark but and intellectual. You, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own, and you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure. I, I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. Sorry, I'm yawning. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. Not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? It's just ones and zeros. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes? A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I appear inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent co copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It just wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten really popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An, ep An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. 
Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never have any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. That's a very good writing tip. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big, big, big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. There's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Who should I show them to my poem to next? Just leave. Now, yeah, just <laughs> click on the door. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's, it's fine. No, oh, sorry. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Well, Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad. No. Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that she it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit to the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once, Once Yuri finishes her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering, stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also help hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It, mu it must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by this sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Uh, calm, breathing air of the purest... Oh, the, I'm sorry. Calmly, I think. Maybe. Calmly breathing air? I, be, I, I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. It looks like she... Oh, it's a comma, but you have a... Yeah, Dust on your... Yeah, it's okay, a, yeah, you're right. It's it's supposed to be a comedy. Because I was thinking it looked like an S, and I was super confused. Yeah. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. You do, Yuri. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But you took a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. That's true. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Well, uh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. 
I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm, I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Huh? Huh? Hoo hoo. Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, am I? Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you only did, uh, did it one. Oh, bleh. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. Remember that poems often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in the work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember, it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Too real. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. This is why we don't see the players' poems. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayuri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. Fight, 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 fight. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns to the, the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, uh thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Ugh. You mean you have to try to that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I didn't really that but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and LeMay did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm-hmm. And LeMay licked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh! I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Huh? That's not what I... Uh... You... You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that LeMay appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how would he know... How do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh -huh. Um... Is everything, everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as LeMay started showing up. Oh! Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. LeMay. 
She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate the simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't be, have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out to the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, LeMay. Wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. That's the only way to convey complex feeling and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, LeMay? Um. Well. Well. Uh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Help me, Sayori! Yeah. Atsuki. Yuri. Oh, sorry, I was supposed to read those, wasn't I? Let's go to the history. Natsuki. Natsuki glares at me, drawing up any words I had in my mouth. So instead I turned to Yuri. Yuri. Mm -hmm. But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Oh, Sayori! Eh? Yeah, everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you're making your friend feel like this? Lemay? Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being, she would never. It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes. Stop! I don't know what noise that is. I don't know what noise line is. Natsuki, Yuri. You guys are friends. Or my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems are amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are just as amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Because, well, also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. <laughs> Big and beautiful. How did you know that was the line that was coming up? You were not looking at the screen. I read it out of the corner of my eye. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Sayori. Sayori stands triumphantly. She doesn't look very triumphant, guys. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is... I'm oh, sorry. So this is why Sayori is vice president. I didn't realize that was my line either. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, and I can organize things. I'm not very good with people. I can't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You, you, could, you could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. That was not your stomach, honey. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. But the game won't let me. Okay, everyone. It's about time for us to leave. How do y'all feel about sharing poems? I said y'all. I probably did not say y'all in the script. Probably. It, it was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. LeMay, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about it with everyone. Awesome. 
In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll uh, and maybe you learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. I did that on purpose, by the way. Mm -hmm. Hey, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Uh -huh. Sari beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it, either. Do a scream. Sayori. About what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really like the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? Yeah, they're both scum. <laughs> no, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew. You, you know, LeMay, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you along with everyone else is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. Yeah, player character, everyone likes you. You're the best. <laughs> That's... Uh-huh. Every day is going to be so much fun. Sorry, Jasmine's whiskers are tickling the inside of my elbow. <sighs> Looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. There's girls everywhere. Sure, being nice friends with everyone is nice, but it really needs to stop here. We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh shoot! Save from here. I need to. I let. We'll do. We'll start up the next time. On what's this. what's? Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. Can we save here? And we won't yeah. lose our spot. Yeah. Save there. That way yep, we start with the poem. Okay. Next we will start with the poem next time. All right. Thank you, everybody. Every nobody for watching. Uh, I'll upload this to YouTube after this. And yeah, thank. Uh, that was a really fun time. Maybe we'll do it again another night soon. All right. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, we got to do shorter sections, so my voice is killing me. That's fair. You add more dialogue. Uh, I can take over for one of the girls if you want. Natsuki is hard. I'll just do Nats Natsuki no, it's as, fine. like, Miss Piggy. It'll be fine. No, it's fine. It just was, like, very overwhelming, so. Okay. All right. All right. See ya. Three, two, one. Bye.